Hey everybody! Happy Wednesday! Hey Bubble Family, it's Ellen, your program manager. I hope some of you guys will join this video today. It's kind of a dreary day outside, so it's a perfect day to do a workout. We are going to be doing a couch workout today, so all you need is your couch in your living room. And even if you don't have that, you can do all these exercises without the couch and just body weight. So it looks like we have one person. We have Bill. Hey, Bill, how's it going? Thanks for coming on to the video. I figured this would be a good time to get a workout. It's sort of an afternoon slump. So whether you're working until four or five or six, this is sort of the time of the day when people start to get, hey, Bill, when people start to get tired. And this is gonna be a really good um, pick-me-up workout. It will be a little less intense than the workout that we did on Monday, which, by the way, I am still really sore from. <laughs> so I might be modifying some of these exercises. But this is gonna mainly be stability and strength focused, and it's all body weight, really no cardio, except for just a little bit in our warm up. So we'll go through a warm up, we'll go through the workout. We have eight exercises that we are going to be doing today. I will show you modifications for all the exercises to make them more challenging and to make them less challenging. So again, this is your workout, so do whatever you'd like to do. I'm just here to motivate you and to do it with you. That's it, we have two people watching now. So also, um, as we're going through this workout, if you guys could leave some comments, that would be really helpful as well. So things like not being able to hear me or maybe you can't see something, all comments and feedback are welcome. So I know it's a little bit dark here, but hopefully once I back up, it will get a little bit lighter. I will be playing some music in the background very lightly so that you guys can hear me, but feel free to play whatever music you like during this workout, blast your music, do what you gotta do. Um, again, we'll start with a warm up pretty quick, and then we'll go through our workout. This should be about 25, 30 minutes, so also a little bit shorter from Monday's workout. And then of course, we'll end with a cool down and a stretch. So again, comments as we're going through, after the warm up, I'll come back to the screen and check to see if you guys have any comments, uh, just to make sure you guys can hear me and you can see me, and all of this makes sense. So, rainy day, great day to do a workout in the house. Great time, instead of grabbing those cookies because you're getting a little tired, let's get up and move around and work out. Boho family, let's get ready. All right. I'm gonna turn on my music. You can turn yours on too if you'd like. Hope you guys are doing well, I miss you guys. All right. So warm up, we're actually gonna use the couch for our warm up as well. So we're gonna start with some squats. So you're gonna bring your feet about hip distance. You're gonna sit all the way down into your couch and then I want you to stand up. So we're gonna do these without pushing onto our legs. We wanna keep our arms away from our legs. So down and up. I am just wearing socks for the workout today. I don't like wearing my sneakers indoors so I'm just doing my socks, whatever you feel comfortable using. And we're just doing squats here. You're gonna sit all the way down to your couch, stand up nice and tall. You wanna think of pressing your feet as flat as you can to the floor as you're standing up. So we're gonna inhale down, exhale up, okay? Nice and easy. Let's do a couple more squats here. Remember, not using those arms or hands to help ourselves up just using those legs. Let's keep that chest up. We're gonna come down. All right, two more squats. Come down, lift and press, one more. All right, great job. Next, one more exercise. We're gonna do sort of toe taps, but use the couch to do them. Just little taps right here. I want you to pump your arms with us. I'm just gonna go to the beat of my music just so I stay nice and consistent, and tap, tap. So what we're doing is just getting the heart rate up a little bit higher, getting a little bit warmer. Tap, and tap. You can also use a pillow on the floor if you'd like. Pump those arms, keep that chest up. We're gonna go for eight. 
seven. Let me know if you can hear me. Six, or if you can't, five, chest up, four, three, two, and one. Okay, next one is a modified burpee. Arms up, hands on our couch. We step out to a plank, we step back in. We're gonna go for about 30 seconds here. So options, it is just a warm up, but if you're feeling really good today, maybe you add that jump at the top, right? Straight up, maybe you add a jump right here. Whatever you'd like, it's just a warm up, okay? Want to get nice and warm. You should feel that heart rate getting a little higher. Breathing, getting a little, getting a little more labored. Let's go. Oh. All right, guys, we're going to go for about 10 more seconds, okay? Up. I'll add a little jump here. Jump. We've got four, three, two, and one. All right. How are you guys feeling? Good? Oh, I forgot to grab my water bottle. Make sure you have your water bottle close, okay? All right. So quick stretch here before we start. Let's do some shoulder rolls, okay? So just real quick, three warm-up exercises. If you're still not warm, repeat those three one more time through until you feel your heart rate get a little bit higher and your body getting warmer, okay? We're gonna take this twist side to side. Make sure those knees are soft. All right, full body roll. Shoulders first, inhale, bend your knees, exhale, roll it up. Just like being a foe, right? Inhale, lower down, exhale, roll it up. Let's do one more, come on down. We're gonna stay nice and low and just twist to the side. Once you sort of push your knees apart here, begin to open up those hips a little bit and switch. Other side. Let's do it again. One more in each direction. All right, we're going to bring those feet together. We're going to fold forward. I'll show you from the side. Bend those knees if you need to. I want you to grab your elbows, crisscross your arms, relax your head, and show me a rad doll. Just shaking side to side. Slowly rolling up to the top, head coming up last. Roll it up. All right, and then you guys know I always do these hip circles just to open up those hips a little bit. So you're gonna sort of swing those legs open one side at a time. Open up those hips in case we have been sitting all day. All right, so comments, you guys good? You can see and hear me fine, awesome. We have three people now watching. Thank you guys so much. Okay, bring your, make sure you have your water bottle. We're gonna get started. We've got eight exercises. We're gonna go through all eight. We're gonna do eight repetitions of each exercise. We'll take a little break. Then we're gonna go through second round, take a break, and go through a third round. So again, to modify this workout, you could do just one round of each exercise. You could just do two. If you wanna make it a little harder, you can do three or four, or as many as you'd like. So I'm gonna demonstrate each movement before we do it. Exercise number one is a split squat. I'm just gonna adjust the screen just a tiny bit so you guys can see the carpet as well. All right, so we have one leg up, split squat. You can have your foot flat on your couch or you can tuck your toe under, okay? So we're gonna go down and up. Again, we're gonna do eight reps. So for this one, since it's right and left, we're gonna do eight on each side and then we'll switch, okay? So let's go ahead and start together. We'll, we'll all do our right leg back. Okay, so a lot of balance here. You wanna tuck that tailbone under. We're gonna inhale lower and exhale up. Remember that foot can be flat or you can tuck it, whatever feels comfortable for you. Just wanna make sure I'm in the screen here in my hair. <laughs> this is number four. If you want this more challenging, what do we do? Add a jump. Five, right? Six, seven. Woo, feeling that already. Eight, all right, shake it up and switch. So again, listen to your body, do whatever you can. Finding your balance, we're going straight into the floor. It's down and up. Two. Now I'm tucking my pelvis and tailbone here. Here's three, hands on your hips. Or right here, whatever works for you to keep your balance. Five, remember that high impact option. Seven, eight. Woo, all right, 
Let's shake it out. Exercise number two, plank with shoulder taps. Okay? You can do this modified, hands on your couch, right? And then alternate. Or, a little extra challenge, feet on the couch, legs on the couch, hands on the floor. Holding here, tap, okay? This is core, upper body. I'm gonna do the first one on the floor. Right, left is one rep. We do eight. Ready, set. Pull those abs in, right, nice flat back. We go right, left, that's one. Tap, tap, two. Pull those abs in. That's three, you're gonna move a little bit. Tap, four, but try to stay centered. Tap, tap, that's five. Legs a lot wider, gives you a little more stability. That's six. Legs close together, seven. A little more challenging. That's eight. Woo! All right, tricep dips are next, okay? Remember, we're going through all eight exercises, and then we're gonna do it again. So on the edge of your couch, modified, knees bent, shoulders right on top of those wrists. Bend down, push back, and lift. Inhale, exhale. Little extra challenge, legs further out or straight out, right? Three, you're gonna fill it right away. I'm gonna stay right here today, okay? Four, woo, that Monday workout killed me. Five, I haven't worked out in two weeks, getting over being sick. But six, inhale, exhale seven, it was hard. Last one, inhale, straight down, exhale eight. Woo, all right, next one. This is core, we'll give our wrists a little bit of a break. We're gonna take a seat on our couch. Or on the floor, it doesn't have to be a couch. Okay, this is sort of Pilates movement. You're gonna pull those abs in, you're gonna lean back a little bit. We're gonna take our hands behind our ears. The key here is keeping our elbows back but our chest lifting, their chin up, okay? So just practice by doing some leg lifts. So this is all coming from your abs, lifting your legs, okay? So now we're gonna add a twist. Right elbow, or right elbow shoulder to left knee. Opposite, all right, we're gonna do a set of eight. Remember, right and left equals one rep. Edge of the couch, pull those abs in, here we go. We twist right and left for one, right? Left for two, slow and controlled, right? Left for three, twisting from your waist, guys, right. Like a ring on a towel, that was four, right? Right, left, three, five, right. Left, that's six, you lean back, it becomes a little more challenging. Try one more set, right. Left, that's eight, great job. Okay, next one, push-ups. So these, of course, Hands on the couch here and on your knees. If you'd like, hands are wider than our shoulders. We did our triceps already. We want to work more of our shoulders and our chest. Okay? Down and up. Or on your toes, right? Down and up. Or extra, extra challenge that I know Bill is going to do, right? Here we go. Just like we set up for our plank. We're here. We go down and up. All right, so I'm gonna do them that way. I just show you three different ways you guys choose. We're doing eight together. Ready, set, let's go. Inhale, lower, exhale, one. Lower, two, pull those abs in. Lower, Woo. three, lower, four. Keep your neck long, guys. Five, maybe just go a few inches. Lower, six, I'm shaking, how about you? Two more, lower, seven. Last one, lower, push, eight. Woo, those are hard. All right, a little stretch there for the wrists. Remember, this workout is for you. Modify or challenge yourself as you need to. All right, so now we're gonna work our glutes and muscles that we sit on all day, and probably a lot more often now, bridges. Take a seat, I'm out of breath already. <laughs> Take a seat close to your um, couch, okay? Again, your hands are behind your head. You want your head, neck, and shoulders on the couch. Now, when I'm at FOHO, I use a foam block. When I'm at home, I use a pillow, okay? I don't want to move my head, neck, and shoulders. 
So I'm placing this underneath, okay? I'm actually now gonna cross my arms on my chest. I'm lifting my hips up. I lower as I inhale, exhale, lift. It's just a hip bridge, okay? Extra challenge, single leg, you guys know it. So let's just drive both feet on the ground first, okay? Inhale and exhale for one. Down and two. Watch you lift them as high as you can. Three, squeeze those glutes. Can you push your feet into the floor and lift a little higher? Here's five. Down, six. We're going to eight, guys. Slow and control. Seven. Lift all the way up one more. And eight. Next time we'll try single leg, okay? That's your hip bridge. What is next? Oh, yeah. Side plank with taps. So I'll do my right side so I'm facing you guys. Okay, again, I'd recommend using the pillow. Elbow right underneath our shoulder. Okay, level one. Just like a modified side plank, that bottom leg stays down to support. We tap forward and back, forward and back. So not only are we using our core, but also working our hips, okay? Extra challenge, you're up in a full plank, right? Just make sure you don't slip especially if you're on a carpet and using socks, okay? But now this time your bottom leg, tap, tap back, tap through, tap back, okay? So just some options there, or you can just simply hold your plank. I'm gonna try the first option modified. So here we go. So I'm keeping those hips up and I'm gonna tap forward and back equals one rep. Forward and back equals two. We don't want our hips to move around all crazy. Forward and back is three. Forward and back, keep your chest up, four. Tap, tap is five. Maybe you're just holding, right? Six, maybe you're trying that bottom leg. Tap, that's seven, Whoa, I'm sliding. Eight, done. So much just a little trickier because of the sliding issue. But again, do what works for you. All right, so other side. I'm gonna have to face the other side. My back is to you guys, but let's do the other side, okay? Again, I'm gonna modify. Nice straight line, here we go. Tap one, tap back. Two, and tap. Make sure your hips don't drop back as you're doing this, okay? Number four, four. You can probably use this couch to show you guys. Five, keep going. Six, for tapping. Seven. One more set. Pull those abs in, and eight. All right, guys, we have exercise number eight. Our last one coming up, pistol squat. We're gonna stand up and use your pillow for this too. So we did regular squats for our warm up. We're gonna try a single leg or a pistol squat. So I'm gonna start with my right leg out, okay? Level one, our heels on the floor. Hands together in prayer, or right here. We're gonna lower down. And we're gonna push yourself back up, okay? But it's a lot harder than just a regular squat, okay? This is number two. You wanna watch that knee. Make sure it's right over your toe. Inhale down, exhale. You're gonna feel this in the leg that is bent, right? Four. That extra child is keeping that leg off the floor the whole time, right? Five. Woo, much harder. I couldn't even do it. Six, I'm gonna try this one. Push. Yep, all that left side. Last one, guys. Eight, and up. Woo! All right, so what we do on one side, we have to do on the other side. So now, I have my left leg out, just my heel, and now it's my right glute and quad working. I lower, I push and lift for one. Inhale, this one's probably the hardest. Woo, two. You should feel your right glute, are you feeling that? Comment. Woo, three. You can also have arms out, that's a little bit easier. Four, or again, the modification, both feet, right? Close together though. There's five. So here's your modification. This is six. Two more. I'm gonna try it. Pistol squat. Woo! Seven. Oh my goodness, it's really hard. One more. Down and up. Woo! All right, guys. Our first round is done. You're gonna grab some water. I'm gonna grab my water bottle. I'll be right back, okay? Make sure to get some water, shake it out. Get my water. All right, so we're gonna go through those one more, well, 
two more times. Comments, are we good? All right, so here we go, guys. Second round, we'll go through this a little bit faster since we know what the exercises entail. Get your water. All right, split squat. Here we go, back to the top. Right leg back. Split squat, but really it's like a lunge. So step out, here we go, inhale. Exhale, new modified. Two, we're lowering straight into the floor. Keep those abs tight, nice and tight here. Three, imagine you're wearing a tight belt around your waist. Four, remember that option? You can jump, five, six, seven, one more. Woo, eight, okay, shake it out. Let's go right into that other side, left leg back. So then I like to tuck my toes here. You can have your foot flat if you'd like. Here we go, inhale. Exhale, keep those hips forward. Inhale, exhale, two. Down, three. Down, let's keep moving, four. Woo, five, tuck that hip bone under. Six, tuck those hips. Seven, try one more, guys, right there with you. And eight, woo. All right, plank shoulder taps. So I did it, I did it last time with my hands on the floor, feet on the couch, I'm just gonna switch it up. Hands on the couch, feet on the floor, okay? Feet wide, tucking my hips, we tap. Right, left, and that's one. Reset, right, left, two. Hands right under those shoulders. Three, tap, tap, that's four. If I want a little more challenging, feet closer together. Tap, tap, that's five. Pull those abs in. That's six, neck is long, tap, tap, that's seven. One more, tap, tap, that's eight. Whew. All right, what's next? Tricep dips. Let's get to the edge of our couch or the floor, whatever you're using. All right, remember those elbows go straight back. We're gonna slide just an inch off the couch. Inhale, 90 degrees if you can, exhale up. Here we go. It's like you're falling to the floor and you push yourself back up. Three, and press. I feel sweat dripping down my face. Woo, four. Inhale, exhale five, let's do it. Down, six, woo, seven, come on, one more. Inhale, lower, exhale, eight. All right, great job, guys. Okay, we have our twists, our seated twists with our knees up. Find the edge of your couch. We're gonna pull those abs in, lean back a little bit. Remember those hands are right behind our head, we wanna keep our chest up, okay? We twist right, left, right, Left, right, left, that's three, a little slower, right, left or four, try to twist all the way to the top of your knee, that's five, bring out a towel, six, Woo. twisting out a towel guys, that's the waist, seven, one more, twist and twist, all right, let's get ready for those push-ups, so, legs can be up here, hands on the floor, or you can do your push-ups right here, okay? So I'm gonna be modified for this round. For the last round, I'm gonna do hands on the floor and come back to that more challenging version. So again, whatever works for you, if your cushion's really squishy, you can even make fists with your hands, okay? So as folded, ready, set, down, and one. Hands a little wider than your shoulders. Down, and two, elbows straight back. Down, three. Down, four. We have four more to go, guys. We're just doing eight. Down, five. Inhale, exhale, six. Come on, two more. How are you doing there, Bill? Seven, you got one more. And eight. All right, great job. Okay, next one, we're doing that hip bridge. So, I do have a foam block with me here, but I'm gonna use my pillow. My head's in the pillow, so I'm not moving it too much. Okay, so head, neck, and shoulders. Crisscross your arms on your chest. Feet are about hip distance. I said we were gonna do single leg this time, right? <laughs> so right leg up slightly, okay? We go down, lift, eight on each side. Inhale, exhale. So you should feel this in your left side. Three, four, lift up as high as you can. 
five. Remember that modification is both feet. Six. Try two more. Seven. Hip bridge. And eight. Woo! You should feel those glutes. Left leg up. Right side. Inhale. Exhale. One. Down. And two. Keep it going, guys. Down. And three. Down. And four. Thanks for the thumbs up. Bill. Five. Six. Remember those options. Push up seven. Try one more, guys. And eight. Woo. Much harder. Single leg, right? Okay. We're almost there. We got a side plank with our taps. Right side. I'll do the right side this way and left over there so you can see me, okay? All right. Here we go. I also like to use the pillow for this. My couch is really squishy. Elbow under that shoulder. Modified. Okay? Tap. Right? I'm sorry. Forward and back. One. Forward and back for two. But we're not moving our hips while we're doing this. So keeping that core tight. Woo, that's three. Inhale. Exhale, four. If you have tight hips, this should be a challenging one. Five. In a good way, though. Tap. Six. Try two more, guys. Keep those hips up. Woo, last one. Tap and tap. All right, let's do the other side. I'll show you from the side. Elbow under our shoulder. Okay, modify all the way up. Ready, set, tap forward and back. Don't be modified. Forward and back. Make sure the hips don't roll forward or roll back. That's three. Woo, four. Tap, five. Couple inches forward, couple inches back. Six. Try two more, guys. Tap. Tap, last one, tap, and tap. Whew. Okay, pistol squat. And then our final round for the extra challenge. So I'm gonna keep my pillow here. Right leg out. I'm gonna keep my heel on the floor, okay? We're gonna bend that left knee, here we go. Down and up. Shoot this down for a second. Down and up. Okay, remember we're pushing into that right heel just a little bit, but mainly in our left. Inhale, exhale. Three more guys, this is probably the hardest one. Down, you should feel it, left side. Woo, breathe, two more. Inhale, exhale, try one more. Down, and push to lift. All right, shake it out, other side. Remember that challenging option is keeping it lifted off the floor. Here we go, it's inhale, challenging option. Lift. That heel never touches the floor. If you're ready for a challenge today. Two. I'm gonna alternate. Inhale. Exhale. The key is really pushing your hips back. Like you're sitting down into your couch, right? Into your chair. That's five. Keep that chest up. Down, arms out if you need to. Six. Come on, two more. Inhale. Core tight. Exhale, push. Feel that right side. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Whew. Shake it out. Water. One more round, guys. If you just wanted a quick workout, you could just do those two rounds, and that could be it. We're gonna go through a third round, okay? Water quickly. Let me give you a few more seconds. How we doing? Thumbs up? Okay, awesome. Final round. Split squat, our lunge. Right leg back. Ready, ready. Not much break. We're just gonna get right through this final round and stretch. Right leg back, here we go. Inhale, exhale. Down, and two. Watch your left knee, three. Make sure it's going right over that toe. Four, remember those options. Five, you know that jump, right? Six, woo! Seven, get a little lower, last one. Eight, remember eight of everything. Switch, left leg back. Walk that right foot out. Whew. Okay, ready, set, go. Inhale, exhale. Two, and lift. Three, keep going, guys, moving this pillow. Four, and lift. Five, maybe right in that jump. Six, seven. Try one more, guys. Lift up, and done. Woo, all right. Plank with shoulder taps. Can I have your hands here? All right, or down here. Here we go. It's right, left, is one rep. Ready, set, go. Right, left, that's one. Right, left, that's two. Pull those abs in. Cross, 
Cross three. Tap, tap, four. How are we doing? Tap, tap, five. Pull those abs in. Two more sets. Right, left, last one. Right, left, down. Whew. All right, tricep dips. Eight, here we go. Shake, stretch the wrist if you need to. Remember, we're on the couch. Modification, bent knees. Slot up just an inch. Here we go. Lower and press. Inhale, exhale. A little more challenging, legs straighter up. Okay? Inhale, exhale. Here's four and press. Elbows straight back. Five and press. Make sure you're breathing. Six and press. Two more. Woo! Last one. Down and up. All right, great job. Knee tuck with our twist, our core, okay? Take a seat on that couch or on the floor, okay? Take those hands behind us, we're gonna lean back, bring our feet far away from our hips, okay? That's also gonna make this a little more challenging. Pull those abs in. Ready, set, we cross, cross for one, cross, cross for two, slow and controlled, cross, cross. Can you keep your chest lifted rather than bending into your knee? Cross, cross, for three, twisting from that waist. Cross, cross for four, as you bring out a towel. Cross, cross for five, you should feel those abs. Cross, cross, six, two more guys. Twist, twist, can you twist a little bit more? Last one, twist, and twist. Whew, okay, push-ups. These are hard. I'm gonna try the challenging version again. Although it's bothering my wrist just a little bit. All right, here we go. So if you, have, if you have more of your legs on the couch, that means you have a little more support. If you just have your toes on the couch, that's gonna be very challenging. So you can also adjust it that way in terms of your modification. All right, eight push-ups, however you wanna do them. Hands a little wider than your shoulders, okay? Ready, set, let's do it. Down and one. Down and two, keep that neck long. Down. And three, pull those abs in. Down. Four. Down. Five. Almost there, guys. Down. Six. Come on, two more. Breathe. Down. Seven. Final one. Inhale. Exhale. Push. Done. I was shaking. Hope you guys were too. We got three more left. Hip bridge. Here we go. Grab that pillow. Or even without the pillow, you can still do it here. Crisscross those arms, ready? Down, squeeze to lift, one. Try a single leg option if you want to. Two, three, inhale, exhale four, press those hips up, inhale, exhale five, down, six, woo, seven, we'll do another set if you're doing single leg, eight, Okay, I did both legs. We'll do another set if you did single, okay? Here we go. Eight more will be good for us. Down, squeeze to lift, one, and two, and three. Inhale, exhale, four. Can you lift your hips a little higher, guys? Five, woo, six, come on, two more. Seven, knees right on top of those toes, last one. Eight, woo. All right, we're almost there. Side plank, let's do it. Side plank, right side. Elbow under that shoulder. We're doing those taps. Or maybe, ooh, sweat. Maybe you're holding your side plank. Maybe you're doing that bottom leg, adding a tap, okay? My feet are sliding a little bit, so I'm gonna do the modified again. Okay, this knee on the floor. Ready, set, forward and back. Stay as still as possible. From your hips up, as still as possible. Tap. I'm feeling those hips. This for me is enough, okay? Four more, breathe. Woo! Wanna make sure those hips aren't rocking forward and back. Six, three, two more guys, pull those abs in, tap. And tap, can you get a little bit higher? Last one, tap, and back. Whew, other side, I'll just show you from here. I'm gonna do the same thing, bottom knee bent. We're tapping forward and back, how far forward and how far back can you get? without your hips moving. Here we go. 
tap forward and back. Right? Two. Hopefully my hips are not moving. <laughs> you guys should be able to see. Here's four. Elbow under that shoulder. Here's five. Woo! Inhale. Exhale. Two more, guys. Seven. Make sure we're not sinking back into those hips. Keep them up. Last set. Right? And tap. Woo! All right, pistol squat. Let's go. Keep it moving. All right. Right leg in front. This is our last one, guys, and I'm just going to stretch. Right leg is either out or heel on the floor, bending your left knee. Here we go. Lower and lift. Remember those modifications. You can just do a narrow squat. Both feet on the floor. Right? That's three. Down. Four. This is really good stability. Very functional. Five. Can you use your lower body to pull yourself up, right? Six. Come on. Two more. Woo! This is really hard for me. Last one. And push. Okay. Other side, and then we are done. Left leg, pull those abs in. Let's go down and lift. One. Down. Two. Maybe that one leg is out. Down. Three. We could barely do that. Arms out if you need to. Come on, four. Maybe both feet. Five. Can you get a couple more? Six, that's my weak hip. This one's hard. Seven. Okay, one more. You know it's hard when your form is going. And eight. Oh my goodness. Whew. All right, guys, we are done. How are we doing? Oh, hey, Jackie. <laughs> Thanks for watching. All right, guys, well, almost done. Look at this sweat. So I hope you guys got as good of a workout as I did. I'm gonna do a couple of stretches for you guys before we go. If you have to go, please make sure you do stretch on your own. Get some water, okay? So I'm just gonna do it right here on the carpet. I have a yoga mat that I'm gonna lay out. So get whatever you need to do to stretch. What do you think, Sandy? That's the dog. She might come over and check it out. What do you think, Sandy? Alright guys, good job. Let's stretch it out. How are you guys feeling? Please comment in the box. Oh, there she is, Sandy. Came and say hello. Alright guys, here we go. Let's start with a nice child's pose stretch for our lower back. So you're going to bring your knees wide, sit your hips way back, and extend your hands at the top of your mat, or just right in front of you on the floor. Take your head in between your arms and relax here. We're gonna take a couple deep breaths. So let that heart rate come back down, okay? Inhale and exhale. Then we're gonna slowly walk those hands up. We're gonna find a tabletop position, okay? Cat cow, so as we inhale, our belly drops to the mat. We lift our head up. Exhale, we pull our chin into our chest and round the spine. And again, inhale, we lift. And exhale. I'm gonna do it one more time. Inhale. And exhale. All right, let's go ahead and come on down. We're gonna come down into our back first. We're gonna hug those knees into our chest. Gently rock side to side. Hope you guys can still see me. Side to side. So you're gonna massage your lower back into the floor, maybe make circles in one direction. That should feel really good. Reverse the circles. All right, feet down. Let's extend that right leg up and pull it in for a hamstring stretch. You're going to circle that ankle, wiggle your toes, with our hamstrings, especially in those bridges, right? Take an inhale and then exhale. We're going to take that ankle up and over our left knee. So you can either push against your right knee or if you want a little more of a stretch, reach behind your left thigh, pull your legs into your chest. My hips are a little too tight on this side to do that, but feel free to do that if you would like. Make sure though your back is flat, your shoulders are relaxed while you do the stretch. No straining, no tension, okay? All right, let's go ahead and switch. Left leg, take it up, pull it in. Let's circle that ankle, wiggle our toes. Let's breathe. Again, no strain in our shoulders and upper back, so make sure you're nice and flat 
on the floor below you as you stretch. We're going to take that ankle up and over our right knee. Woo. You should feel us in your hips and glutes. And again, you can push against your knee or reach behind that right thigh and pull those legs in as long as you keep your back nice and flat. Whew, I did not think I was going to sweat that much. Oh my goodness. But we did do three rounds, so we did do a lot. And again, you can just do one round of those exercises just to get a quick 10 minute break from work, or you can make it a full, you know, 30 minute workout like we did. All right, let's go ahead and release. Let's roll over, come down into our chest and belly so we can stretch out our quads. Okay, so roll over to one side, press yourself up. We're gonna come all the way down. This one might be a little more challenging to show you. I'm gonna come to the diagonal. Okay, so we're gonna come all the way down. You can also do this stretch standing if you'd like. It's just a quad stretch. Come all the way down, we're gonna look to our right, grab our right foot. We're gonna press our thighs into the mat and hold. Keeping those knees together. Now we're going to switch to go to the left side, turning our head to the left, press your thighs into the mat and hold. Now let's come into baby cobra, hands beneath our shoulders, inhale, we're going to lift up, exhale, lower, let's do it one more time, inhale, shoulder blades down and back, exhale, lower, tuck the toes, you can find a downward facing dog here, okay, pedaling out those heels. You want to press your chest towards your thighs in this position. Lift your hips way up and back. And then we're going to lower to our knees. We're going to roll up to standing. Head comes up last. Slowly, slowly roll it up. Head comes up last. Roll the shoulders at the top here. Interlace those fingers. We're going to push out and away. Pulling our chin in, rounding our spine and then opposite stretch. Hands come behind and we open up through the shoulders and chest. And we release. Inhale, we lift up. Exhale, bend the knees, shake it out. Do it one more time. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, shake it all out. And you guys are all done. Thank you so much for joining me in this workout. Miss the Boho family, I hope you guys got a great workout. Again, this will be on our Facebook page, so you can do it anytime you'd like to. You can modify it however you want. Um, thanks so much for joining. Hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you soon. Bye.